everybody. Welcome to The Basement. I'm your host, Michael Gutierrez, along with my beautiful co-host. Celine Montijo. What's hey, up, Celine? Hey, how, how are you? you? Thank you for having me. Uh, you know, it's, it's difficult to do these things by myself. And I'm thinking, who can I get a hold of? And, uh, you know, Celine, you, you've always been uh, someone that we always want to get on in front of the camera. Thank so I'm you. glad you can you can ha take time out of your busy schedule oh, yes. to spend here. here at The Basement. <laughs> How's everything going? What's, good, what have you been good. up to? Everything is good. Um, busy. Everybody. Busy, you know, children keep you busy That's, all day, all the time, you know? That's why I don't have kids. No, oh, I should have said that. That should have said totally, totally <laughs> wrong for me. Well, yeah, say. it is a lot of work, you know, always having to watch over them, protect them, and making sure they're safe all the time. Well, speaking of safe, weren't you doing something at school with them uh, based on the uh, something about bullying or something? Yes, yes, they are big on bullying now. You know, there's a lot going on. Uh, most recently, the story about Michael Moronis and That's his sad. attempted suicide. Yeah, um, you, you know, um, you, you have an 11-year-old boy, 11-year-old right. boy out of North Carolina who was um, being bullied for liking uh, and playing with My Little Ponies. Right. They're called bronies. Boys who like My Little Ponies, they're called bronies. They're There's called a name for them now. See, I would never, never know that. Um, how how um, you label, you give somebody a name based on... Uh, you what know, they like, and that's exactly it. They're all labels. That's so, all it is. Uh, does your daughter play with My Little oh, Ponies? Oh, she loves them. She loves them. She's all about My Little Ponies. She's six. You know, the kid was 11 years old. Um, unfortunate event. He's not responding as of now. You know, he's in a coma, brain dead for the most part. Um, and it's very sad. So, bronies is what they call um, kids that play with My Little Ponies. Is it bronies because they're boys only? Yes, yes, because they're bros. Oh, they're bros. Yes. So bronies, oh, I, I, you know, I find that disturbing. ridiculous. Yeah, right. it's disturbing. Yes, it's it ridiculous. It I mean, as as a as a man, I do have a stepson, uh, but he, he's a big kid. Uh, he okay. plays baseball. So I think that every dad would want their sons playing with a baseball, a glove, right. you know, football, something like that. And I and I think that that's pretty normal from a dad. And I, and I don't right. know, I don't know if I would be cool with my son playing with uh, My Little Pony, but I don't think it would be. No, I, I don't think it's that serious it's either. It's not that serious. Furthermore, you know, My Little Pony teaches friends, about friends, friendships, family values. It's all good stuff, nothing bad. You know, the kid is obviously innocent, innocent heart. Yeah, and, and, and this is this is so disturbing. Um, in fact, you know what, now, now that this topic has really, uh, it's really touched me. Um, what I want to do is, you know, before we even go on to the show, just go on to, to our Twitter, right? Go ahead, let okay. them know about that. And, um, right. I mean, it's it's uh, The Basement. C3M. The Basement C3M uh, on Twitter. And tell us what you think. I yes, mean, give us your opinion. Give us your opinion. Uh, is, it, is it okay? Dads, dads, is it okay for your son to play with a My Little Pony? And more importantly, is it okay to be bullied over playing with My Little Ponies? I think that's the issue here. That is the issue here. And thank you for clarifying that because I, I think as a man, right, right away, I, 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 I separate the two. Right. Um, and right. then I say, you know, uh, you right. should but be playing with My Little Ponies. Little, but kid. Let's, it's, little it's kids little are kid. innocent. They play with what they like. You know, it's the colors that amuses them. It's the toy itself, the figures. Yeah. You yeah. know? They don't know better at that age. <laughs> I, I, I think about that because uh, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a touchy topic and it's right. definitely serious. But you right. know what? We're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, I'm going to touch on some good stuff. I mean, we've got some Olympics to cover. We have some fashion show to cover. And, um, yeah, we'll touch awesome. on that when we come back. Stay with us. It's harder whenever there's a bigger group. Pretty much a good day for me would be people leaving their hands off of me. I'm always called names. Um, everywhere that I go, there's always someone um, calling me names, calling me gay. I've been choked, um, thrown up against a wall, punched. Nobody's ever tried to help me.
Hey, welcome back to the basement with Michael Gutierrez and my friend here, Salim Montijo. Um, so, you know, the funny thing right now is that I just caught online, it's hilarious. It's that you have Nicki Minaj being sued for a wig that supposedly she stole the design. One wig? Or one wig. You... Oh, well, I mean, if, according Which to... Which one was it? I, mean, I, I would love to know because according to reports, it says that Terrence Davidson, who was her... Uh, uh, official wig designer, designer mm -hmm. right? Um, designed numerous wigs right. for Nicki Minaj, right, right. and uh, I guess she put him. Um, I maybe fired him, uh, okay. but kept his designs. But kept his designs. Yikes! Well, now he's uh, filed a lawsuit for thirty million dollars for one wig. For one wig or design for or one design. design. Right, right. I mean, the design. She stole the design. She stole the design. Oh, I mean, poor Nikki. But, yeah, but I mean, who wears? I mean, I hear wigs are a big thing in it. I want to see this wig. Right. Which one is it? The purple one? The yellow one? Leave my wig alone! <laughs> How many people wear wigs? I mean, I, I paid big bucks for mine. Forget about it. <laughs> she paid big bucks for hers. Well, I mean, so apparently now this man um, wants all his royalties from now. I can, here, the thing is here that she stole his design. Right, you think it's right, just right. one design? No, I, maybe not. And you know, I mean. He has all the right to do so. He has a lot of other clients. I mean, Beyonce wears the wigs. What other one? Who You're else wears me. wigs? Of course she does. Yeah, I gotta get. Yeah. I gotta get hit to the click here. I, I mean, think she has like her real hair is the pixie cut, and everything else that girls like from one day to the next is all wigs. Come on, Mike. Oh man. <laughs> so wait, I'm, I'm getting kind of nervous here. So you mean maybe the girls I've dated in the past probably have wigs? Uh, it's possible. Oh, I'm traumatized. <laughs> Guys, come on, help me out here. Are you oh, freaking yes. kidding me? Forget about it. Well, supposedly that's that's the big thing now, and uh, yeah, wigs are in. You know, it's part of. I, you know what? Fashion. Forward. Get your money. Get your money. Get those yes. thirty million dollars. Yes. You work hard. And to, Nicki Minaj has it. So and Nicki Minaj she can get it pay the money. Yeah. Forget about or give it. Give him his wig bag. On a serious note, though, let's let's switch here. Um, so it looks like the state of Georgia has approved for um people to purchase. Um, license plates with a Confederate flag. Now, um, it's beginning to be a touchy topic across right. the country. Um, right. uh, you know, us, we're, we're, we're Latin American, right, right. Um, Mexican American. Right. I am born here. I think you right. are as I well, am, right? I am too, yes. Um, uh, what is your take on this? I mean, uh, well, we are in America. I mean, respect the country. We have one flag. Right. Why do you want to bring in another flag, especially when you lost the war? You lost in the South. You lost the fact or the right to have that Confederate flag. Why is it now you want to bring it back? I mean, and how did this come about? I mean, well, um, I guess what's happening in the state of a uh, uh, state of Georgia, mm -hmm. um, they're just allowing people, and, and it happened with a with a vote. I guess people were okay. asking for them, and the state says, okay, you can go ahead and 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 allow. Um, to, to, to drive with one of these, but I, I don't, I don't know. I, see, I'm 41. I don't, I, I've never experienced right, right, things or, right. or my family um, as right, far as the I. civil war right, and whatnot. Right, and, um, I, I don't know. But if, many people will take offense to that. I, I mean, and that's so. totally understandable. And uh, how would you feel coming behind the vehicle with one of those? You know, I personally, like you, haven't experienced any of that, so I, I don't think it would really affect me. Would I? Yeah. And, How and you about know what? You, what is your take on that? Honestly, I don't think I would care. I don't think I would care because I, I was born and raised here, um, and my parents came, and uh, they worked their tail off right, to right. give us what we have Likewise. today. Mm -hmm. And I have to be grateful for this right. country um, and everything that it's it, that it's provided. Right, um, I agree. So I mean, I have to, I have to, you know. Right, appreciate where you are yeah, really and care. respect it. You I really know? don't care. So when we come back, uh, I want you. I, I heard that you have a tip on this uh, fashion show in New York. Yes, yes. When we come, come back, back, when we come back, I <laughs> yes. want to hear all about it. Stay with us, everybody. Me llamo Ramses Estrado. Mi nombre es Salvador Santos. Me llamo Raquel Mendoza y esta es mi vida. Trabajo alrededor de 9 a 10 horas diarias. Yo a veces tengo que ayudarle a mi mamá. Ah, los niños tienen que ir a la escuela, nosotros tenemos que ir al trabajo.
Este lugar trae mucha paz y hay mucha calma, mucha naturaleza. Yo considero que esto es buena vida, estar aquí. A mí me gusta aquí. Quiero venir muchas más veces con mi familia. El bosque es increíble. Está mucho más cerca de lo que yo pensaba. Este lugar es maravilloso. Quiero regresar con mi familia más seguido. Encuentra el bosque más cercano en descubreelbosque.org. El bosque, más cerca de lo que crees. Welcome back to the basement with your host Michael and Celine. You know, I'm not going to even say the last names anymore. Michael yeah. and Celine, right? It's like If Kelly you don't know Celine. them yet, well, too bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look us up. Right. Google us. Right. Yeah. Um, so tell me, you Fashion were. Fashion Week in New week. York, yes. So, ladies, this is for the ladies. It's all about the sheer, the metallics this spring, Western look. And you know who really rocked it very, very well? Christina Milan. She was actually wearing a lot of Michael Costello's design. New and upcoming designer, big in Hollywood, and obviously in New York, she looked fabulous. So, and Adrian Bailon, oh my goodness, beautiful. So th this is the big thing about, about Fashion Week now. Every year it gets bigger and bigger right, and bigger. Course, But what I'm noticing, uh, obviously, I'm not a fashionista. Okay. You know, uh, well, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> and I can tell you're into fashion. And, yes. And I mean, don't get me wrong. I love to go shopping and, and pick up, uh, you know, a Bulls jersey or something. Okay. But... Um, I noticed that a lot of the stuff from the past is making its yes, way back in. Yes, it sure is. Oh, 1920s, it's coming back. The 1920s look, obviously, a little modern kick to it, That's but it's beautiful. Awesome. I love so it. So now you're going to have, like, the Capone look coming yes, back. Yes, yes, yes. For all you guys that like the those. The safari look coming in fall. Sa safari? Yes, the safari look. Is that, you know, like, the trigger Like, word? the can Well, I guess, <laughs> yes. Somewhat, right? This is <laughs> so leopard print. But, I mean... Uh, Western look, you're getting yes. cowboy. Is that what you mean by Western cowboy? Yes, boots? Western looks. They have now their little Western jackets. Very cute. Very, very cute. Um, I, I don't know if I'll be. All the big designers are designing these awesome Western metallic sheer everything. Guys. 1920s. Uh, I, I think I would wear an Al Capone 1920 suit. Maybe one of those uh, oh, yeah. zoot That'd suits nice. that they used to wear in the West Coast. Yeah, add a cool hat to that. And a cool. Cool hat. Speaking of cool hats, you're gonna love this. Do you remember at the Grammys when Pharrell was on stage and okay. he popped up with that uh, Smokey the Bear hat? Yes, you remember that yes, huge yes, thing? Yes, 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 of course. I'm sure everybody remembers yes. that. It's for sale. Oh, I want it, that. Do you want it? Yeah, why not? Pharrell, How much? send How us much? that. Give us a here, discount. Give us a discount. <laughs> Supposedly, How much? well, they're saying that it's going for an outrageous price of like ten million dollars or eBay? so. I mean, I don't even know if it's going to be on eBay, but okay, they're okay. saying that, uh, I'm sorry, not $10 million. They're saying that bids have reached bids. more nice. than $10,000 um, for the brown fedora. Oh, Now, okay, okay. Uh, proceeds will help Pharrell's charity, uh, which is called One Hand to Another Charity, and it provides okay. arts and educational resources for children. So it's a, for a good cause. It's for okay, a good cause. Okay, it's good. for a good cause. And it may be worth buying it. I'll look into it. Yeah, I mean... Well, you're going to have to put a bid higher than 10 grand. Well, it's doable. <laughs> <laughs> with a loan. I, yeah, I would love to see you with the head on, Celine. That oh, would thanks. be something funny. Yes. All right, so on another funny note here um, that I'm still trying to kind of get grips on it is that um, Hulk Hogan oh, no. is coming back. Yes! Woo! The is Hulkster he? baby is making... Is he, he's going to start wrestling again? Great question. Wait. So reports are that Hulk Hogan okay. is making a comeback. And uh, I'm going to tell you and you guys more about that in detail when we come yes. back. Okay, Hulkster baby!
Don't look at me. Your hair's a bit frizzy today. Oh, you should pick that up. <laughs> oh, you're such a dork. Loser. Here, let me help you with that. Oops. <laughs> Every day, kids witness bullying. Oh, look. Your crush is looking at you. <laughs> Poor you. They want to help but don't know how. See, no one here is going to help you because no one Teach your kids you. how to be more than a bystander. Visit StopBullying.gov. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. You know, you got me talking here to my co-host right. here, Celine. So, big news is that Hulk Hogan, Hogan. is making a comeback. Now, guys, Hulk Hogan is uh, making a comeback. Once again, I just said that. But he's coming back as a host. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. You scared me there yeah, for a moment. I mean, it okay, would have been... Uh, will he be hosting his own show, or what will he be hosting? Well, um, they're saying that he's going to be coming back, and he's okay. going to be backstage oh, on nice. Monday Night's Raw, and it's going to be on the USA oh, Network. okay, okay. Um, he'll, ha he'll be having the backstage pass, and okay. uh, he'll be interviewed. Now, he's he's 60 years old. Okay, like, okay. I mean, is. I mean, think about it. 60 years old. Hulkster still looks amazing. He, yeah, at 60 years somewhat old. right, right. And, and I know that your kids may not know much about uh, Hulk Hogan no, because no, he's no. way. But for he us, he was in my time. Yeah, right, right. I think for us, Hulk Hogan is an. He icon. was a big deal. He was a big deal. He was a know? big deal. And uh, when I heard that he was coming back, I was so excited. I was like, "Yeah, Hulkster!" Now, don't don't underestimate him because I bet you. Um, just to get the ratings going, right, because right. Uh, from what I hear, it's kind of dying out. He'll throw down. He'll throw down. Yeah, right. I, I think, think so. he's gonna be an interview. He's gonna say something to somebody. They're gonna say, "What are you talking?" Oh, oh, it's gonna be awesome. Like I would love to see that. I really will. I really, 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 really. Okay. And where will he be doing this filming? Or it's gonna be. It's gonna show? be on Monday nights on Raw. Oh, okay, okay. On, okay right, wrestling. Like, okay. And it's okay. gonna be backstage. Not and, a big fan of wrestling, but okay. Yeah, but you know what? Mud wrestling's pretty in. I like that. Yeah. I like. Okay. To see some of that right right <laughs> <laughs> okay so um the chicago film industry it's, it's really picking up picking thing. up big time now you're in it so tell me tell us well, a little bit about somewhat that. you know i get to work here and there whenever i have the opportunity but it's definitely something i want to move more into divergent next month it's coming out and i had the opportunity to be in the Amity faction. There we go. Hey! Yeah, that was Our awesome. own Celine Montijo yes, is an yes. actress. Hollywood. Yes. No. Well, Chicago actress. Yeah. Chicago there we actress. Go. Well, but. <laughs> but right, right. I did have um, the opportunity to share a set with Kate Winslet. Are you Mackay kidding Pfeiffer. me? Mackay Pfeiffer. Kate Winslet. Is this she from? Yes, Titanic. She's beautiful. Forever. <laughs> That's her, Sorry. that's her. Anyway, but yeah. In any, in any event, that's she awesome. is beautiful, yes. And we have Chicago PD, we have Crisis, we have Chicago Fire filming. And I'll be honest shooting. with you, Chicago Fire is... It's good stuff. I like it. Yeah, I like, I like it, it too. And speaking of Chicago PD, my brother-in-law, nice. Ivan Vega, love you, man, um, is actually just got booked on um, Chicago PD, and he's playing a uh, cartel. Oh, nice. Yeah, one of the nice, cartels, nice. and I, it's not out yet. Um, we will be letting you guys know when it is yep. uh, coming out. Of course, those are coming back. Right, they are um, coming back, and Chicago Fire does resume on Tuesday, I believe it is, because February 23rd, the Winter Olympics are done with. And speaking of the Winter Olympics. Yes. That's going to be a good topic. We're going to yes. touch on the Winter Olympics a little bit when we come back. Thanks for calling the GED Pep Talk Center. Jerry Stiller speaking. Your level seven in your face pep talk. I can keep pushing. Believe me, I'm good at it. Once you've got your GED diploma, you'll feel so good about yourself. You come. Mr. Trejo, can I transfer this guy to you? He needs something a little more... Persuasive? Whatever motivation you need, we've got a pep talk for you. Get your GED pep talk and find free classes at yourged.org. So speaking of the Winter Olympics, now okay. they're coming to an end. It looked like um, the women's hockey team lost to uh, Canada. Right. And then um, yesterday the men lost to Canada, Canada as, well, as well. And now they're going to um, play for the bronze. Um, so so here, here's what's going on there. So the, the, the lady uh, uh, figure skaters okay. were, were competing. Right. And um, it looked clearly like a young lady out of uh, Japan, excuse me, was going to actually win the gold. Right. 
Right. She was crying yesterday. I saw she that. She was I doing that. phenomenal. So then it turned out that the Russian girl won the gold. And there was this Aww. huge debate on Twitter, huge emails that were coming in um, to, to the Olympic Committee. Well, it turns out that the, the, the judges um, were actually rigging this thing. Oh, how so? Well, one of the judges supposedly was dating. Uh, oh, no. Drama. Yeah, drama. Was dating one of the Russian uh, uh, head honchos okay, of the okay. judging committee. You okay. know, you got all these... Uh, it's 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 a bad thing. Right. I right. Mean, okay. It's, have, a, it's about who you know, apparently. Yeah. And you 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 have these athletes that come from all over right. the world. Right. Um. And they come in from all over the world to to play for the sport, right. and not only that, for their country. Right. right. And I would be so upset if I bust my tail right. out there you work and so hard. I clearly win but lose. Lose. Right. You know, Yikes. That, that has to be hurtful. Very it's hurtful. hurtful. And you saw that on TV yesterday. Right, right. With, I did with, catch the girl crying. That, and... that was horrible. But you know what? When we come back, we got some more interesting news. And uh, we actually got a, 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 a big uh, um, debate going on on Twitter. We'll touch on that when we come back. Stay with us. I grew up in the housing projects of Cleveland. I didn't even know that life could be any better than it was. Education for me has been a way to get away from the agony of what was normal life. I want to be able to impact the community, not just look back on where I came from, but to reach back to where I came from and pull some people up with me. My name is David, and I am your dividend. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to The Basement. I'm your host, Michael Gutierrez. Um, you know, so it's been, a, it's been a, a nice week here with the weather change here. And, um, yes. For those in the East Coast, you're still getting bombarded with... Lots of snow, and I'm glad that we are finally seeing the sunshine here. If, Please. If it hits over 20 degrees, it's like a heat it's wave. It's summer here. Woo! Like, We're happy. We're I'm, excited I'm here. excited. I'm excited. You know, like today is beautiful. Do you agree? I do agree. Okay. I do agree All that right. it's beautiful. So there's a debate going on right now because um, it looks like the... American Idol is uh, ran or, or uh, was created by um, Simon, not Pearl. Simon Cow. Pearl, Pearl. What Simon, are the Simon something. What are the Simons? Right. So supposedly, um, women like Kelly Clarkson um, were actually gypped out of royalties. Oh, yikes, that sucks. It, it, it's horrible because now you have Sony, this big by wig, that's, that's involved in American Idol. And now you have these singers that are finding out now, especially now at Kelly Clarkson. She's a big thing. So what does that say for American Idol and its future? I mean, the winner obviously gets a contract with Sony, right? Well, the winner gets a trusted? contract. I don't know. I don't know. And now supposedly Kelly Clarkson has some uh, attorneys involved. And now there's uh, millions and millions of dollars out of uh, royalties that are owed. Okay, to, so to, they felt like they were cheated. They felt like they were cheated. I mean, okay. uh, I mean, and where did this money come from? The sales of the records? I mean, because from what I know, they're only awarded a $1 million contract. Yeah. I don't know if that's true, but perhaps, you know, they extended the contract and they Sony just signed them on as a, you know, normal singer, one of well, their artists. Right, and now know. and now what's happening is that the, the Sony, um, uh, big wigs okay. are now hesitating, and they're saying, "No, you don't. You don't deserve this money." Or we never prom. You see, and, and this is the thing about reality shows. I mean, um, we're in a reality show right now. This is right. a reality show. Right. Um, but when you have major networks involved, you're going to have major labels involved, especially if it's TV that's merged with music. I right. mean, now you have major labels, major networks. How many attorneys are in the mix of that? How many people imagine. do they have have their hands in the cookie jar? Right. I yeah, mean, everyone wants a piece, right? Everybody or a wants cookie a cookie if it's in a cookie jar. And here's the big thing. Okay. You have the actor or the singer, right. whoever is trying to make it in this industry, saying, "Where do I sign? I'll right, sign anywhere. Right, right. Just put me in front of the camera. I'll right. sign anywhere." And and that's the scary thing because now attorneys are involved. And they're saying, remember what you signed? You right. signed this. And, you know, for someone like yourself in the music industry, I mean, uh, in the in the movie industry, 
How do you protect yourself from something like that, Celine? What about you? I mean... Well, you hire an attorney right away. I right? mean, you would, you would think. You would think. But you know what? I understand. You know, people start getting excited. They're about to make it big. You know, yes, I'm willing to sign this. I'm willing to do everything, anything. Give me the money. Make me famous. You right. know? And, and, and with that... Well, you have to be more careful. You have to be more careful. And, 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 and so you've already had your, your experience in, in the movie industry. But what I'm... What I'm, what I'm, what I want to go to is that these singers stand in line for hours yeah. just to get an opportunity to get on the show. Right, if they right. sing good enough, they'll get and on they'll the show. Yes. So, probably more than half of these people, um, they, they don't have. First and foremost. Um, they, right. they're not, no they don't knowledge. have money. They don't know where to turn. They no, don't I, know where. They just go in front of the camera. Oh, Simon Cowell, or or um, you know, um, um, uh, uh, the Voice, and and it's like right. they sign these documents. So now, were the artists cheated from the beginning, or is this something that stemmed from maybe a more recent contract? They're or? saying that it stemmed from the very beginning because uh, reports are coming out from 2010 okay, and 11 okay, okay. that they're owed royalties. Right, okay. So what happens is that uh, I assume that as the singer gets further and further into the competition, they'll start using some of the footage, they'll start using some of the music right. and his commercials and whatnot, and then that person is oblivious right. to it. They don't well, know. I'm on TV. I'm doing a right, commercial. Right, right. And for the most part, most artists, uh, whenever they're filming, whenever they're shooting a commercial, they're, they have to sign a release. You see? You know, and at that point, when you sign a release, you're giving them the rights to do whatever they want with this. You know, and, and that's something that um, I, I, I advise every single um, uh, struggling artist, that's struggling right. actor. Not an easy industry. It's not an easy industry. Okay. And, and, and this is a perfect segue for next week's show. Um, we're going to touch a little bit on how the music industry makes an impact um, on our youth right. and oh, what is the huge. message that they're sending out. This might be some, a topic that people won't like and honestly we don't care. It's our show. We're on the basement. Right. And, That's uh, right. Uh, this is to inform. So it was fun, Celine. Thank yeah, you I so had a much. great time. Thanks, Mike. Uh, and and, and don't forget to again. tweet us. Yes. Don't forget to tweet us at the basement. C3M. C3M. The basement C3M on Twitter. Tell us what you think about the uh, boy that was um, uh, bullied, that I did yeah, that yeah was and bullied. with the My Little Pony thing. So give us your feedback. And don't forget to comment or give us your opinion about Nicki Minaj's yeah, wig. Yeah, the I wig. I want to know a little bit more about I want to know something. I uh, want to see this wig. <laughs> and who wants to buy the hat? I'll sell it to you. Here. <laughs> All right, All right everybody. For Chicago 3 Media and The Basement with my lovely host. Celine Montijo. I'm Michael Gutierrez. Till next week. So long, everybody. Time.